Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov. In this fantastic video, I will show you, I will teach you in all details how to make gel nails perfectly with high-end technologies. I will show you all tools and products that I use. So let's get started. And as you can see right now, my model is removing uh, the bacteria from her fingers. We use special uh, special liquid and now she's placing the barrel drill bit into the electric file um, I told already about this amazing drill bit and as you can see I use the same in each video because I'm loving this tool and I will not change it to another tools uh, because it will work for you for a long t for me for a long time step by step we are removing the gel from each nail and it takes only one or two minutes for removing all gel it doesn't burn the nail plate and um, it remo it, it's removing a remaining gel perfectly uh, we, we just need to work with only with the tip of this drill bit and we don't need to place the the all the old drill bit on the nail plate after that uh, we should uh, we should form uh, the shape of uh, the cuticle cuticle line using the pusher uh, I'm you I'm using the steel pusher and uh, it works good um, and it has the perfect shape for making such work okay guys um, try try to push it to the limit because uh, we will need to work with cuticles a lot and the flame drill bead that you can see now will help us to do it perfectly so as you can see She's placing the flame gel bit into the E file, lock it, and proceeding with uh, removing the dead skin from the nail plate. It's not need to make too much pressure on the drill bit. And the main thing we should remove the pterygia perfectly. And if, if, you, if you make too much pressure, you can make the hole or the gape into your natural nail. And in my previous video videos, uh, I showed, I have shown you all these problems. Don't forget to uh, turn on the speed of uh, the drill machine. Because from the right side, we should work with the reverse speed. And we work from the left to the right side. As you can see, I can all also remove uh, some remaining the uh, nail design from the nail plate using this drill bit. Um, and as you can see, it's al al already clear. And in this video, I'm, I want to show you the next one drill bit that you can use for nail works this is the sand drill bit for skin and what why do we need to work with it uh, sometimes it's necessary to lift to lift uh, the cuticles perfectly and the place product under the cuticles and this is the part of uh, Russian style hardware manicure when we work with sand drill bits and you should you should uh, you should keep uh, the finger this way as you can see on the video from the top and it will allow you to twist it easily and as you can see using this drill bit uh, it's easy to not only to remove uh, the pterygia but this way we are lifting we are lifting cuticles and as you can see um, it's already lifted Maybe not for this model because she has very soft cuticles and it's 
very easy to hurt her skin. I have already made a lot of videos where I work uh, on Luba's nails. Um, her nails, her fingers and her skin are hard uh, and we can easily work with her skin. Right now uh, on the video uh, I noticed the lifting on this finger and I'm gonna show you how to remove it so I return to the um, barrel jewel bit to remove this lifting because we don't need uh, we, we should never uh, leave this lifting on nails because the dirt bacteria um, can easily can easily uh, get under this lifting and it causes um, bad bad results uh, it will bring bad things and uh, the nail can be lifted broken and um, you should f you should f uh, remember you should never uh, leave some any liftings and now you see guys um, the high quality uh, scissors that's available in my store too you can order them and um, you can apply the manicure works uh, as fast as I do. So you see that they can easily uh, work with this skin. Uh, let's return to the uh, my uh, story about Luba. Her uh, her skin is hard, so uh, it's easily to work with her skin. But for this model. Uh, here, uh, where we can see the soft skin, it's better uh, to use uh, cutters like scissors or nippers because when we are using only drill bits, we can easily hurt her skin and um, it, the skin uh, it can be bleeding. So it's better to work with cutters like this because we can control our work our uh, cut position of this cutter now we can see high quality scissors uh, they they uh, work perfectly and you can see my work on the other finger i decided to show you um, more products of my shop in this video um, you know some people ask me why i do why uh, I don't um, sell a large amount of products you know guys the matter is that uh, it's not my position because I prefer to uh, to sell only products that I use uh, and I I'm sure that they are perfect for for nail technicians and I'm sure that the result will be a hundred persons the perfect result you will get um, and I know the problem that sometimes we visit uh, nail shops and we, we see millions of items, millions of positions, types of uh, drill bits for example, scissors and we don't know what type of nippers uh, or scissors we should choose. This is the, this is the big problem and for example, for example, me, I have the same problem, but I, I'm a professional. Sometimes I, I already used some, um, some products, and it's easy for me to find something. But sometimes I'm confused uh, with uh, the large numbers of positions, and I don't know what to choose. So uh, I think the best, uh, the best choice for the beginner is to start with. Uh, the small shop uh, like mine um, it's easy to hear uh, to find something and it's easy to order than to search um, search products in uh, supermarkets from in from internet supermarkets and it also saves you from um, from mistakes we sometimes we order too much products that we don't need and they have bad quality um, 
So guys, I have already showed you uh, the nippers, they have uh, highest quality, they have uh, medium length of uh, blades, so it's the best choice for the beginner. And now we can see uh, the file, the file that I use, I, ha I use two types of files, uh, wider and uh, slim files. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, they are available in my store. I made online store for you guys, um, where you can where you can easily choose products, and uh, this store uh, is comfortable for people uh, from European countries because prices are in euro, so you can you can um, choose products and pay for them using PayPal in euro. And then the next bonus for you guys that um, the shipping will be free for you. And this is the temporary bonus. But now if you order tools on, or products from all my online store, the name of my new online store is shapeofnail.com. You know, I like the song um, I'm in love with your body. <laughs> I'm in love with the shape of you. So I decided to um, to give the name of my shop Shape of Nail. Something like I'm in love with the, sh with the shape of nail. Uh, I hope I hope you will like it. Sorry. My daughter my daughter is crying. <laughs> I've got to come to her and check out what what happened to her so it's okay with my daughter let's come back to to the to the video and as you can see i have um i have made uh, the shape for these nails using the file and i'm working with um acid prime not sorry not acid primer gel primer i never use acid primers for, for making nails be because it causes uh, allergic reactions as you can see, the light is perfect. Uh, it's evening now, um, and um, the weather is fantastic. We have great mood for making amazing nails. As you can see, I'm using uh, the sculpting mix gel, and um, sometimes I'm, I'm applying uh, the base the base gel using the sculpting mix so sometimes I don't use base gel at all and sometimes I think that my nails uh, um, that nails stays uh, better when I'm applying the base uh, the base coat using the sculpting mix gel um, maybe we don't we, we should use the base gel only for uh, for um, preparing nails for gel polish or with the nail design because uh, sculpting mix gel has the great consistency and you can use it for uh, the base coat and for the sculpting coat like you see on my video as you can see um, the base gel is liquid more liquid than in my previous videos because we uh, we have now a hot temperature. Um, so you should you should train your hand with uh, working with this gel because it's comfortable for me to sculpt uh, these short nails with this gel. And sometimes when when I need to put the um, larger amount of this gel. I make two layers, uh, so at first I am applying the first layer, layer and after that, after curing, the other layer. So I noticed uh, the hair uh, on my brush, I decided to remove it using nippers. So as you can see, uh, I'm placing the, uh, the ball of um, the drop or the ball of this gel on the nail and I'm flattening and uh, I'll align, uh, applying alignment of this drop neatly with um, the brush for gel. This brush and this gel 
are available in my store you can order them and apply every everywhere you can apply it for um, uh, preparing nails for the gel polish okay and after curing in lead lamp in one minute uh, I'm removing uh, the tacky layer using rubbing alcohol or something uh, that contains a rubbing alcohol for example liquid for uh, disinfection in my uh, example okay guys and let's work with uh, the other amazing drill bit I'm uh, turning on the uh, medium speed medium speed of um, of my drill machine and removing removing the gel easily neatly don't rush uh, just work with uh, from the right side to the left side um, don't push to the cuticles too much um, but it's it would be better if you put it slightly under the cuticles to clean um, the surface under the skin so it will help you to place for example um, gel paint very very close to cuticles and um, in this time uh, we will not apply gel paint or gel polish we will prepare nails for the painting and I will be applying now guys my favorite one stroke technique flowers some people say that um, that these flowers are not in trend now, but I disagree with them. I think that amazing airy designs are always in trend. And um, it's, it's better to be the nail technician uh, who applies something not similar like similar like uh, other nail technicians because sometimes I visit Instagram and I see uh, all the same nail designs not um, not uh, I don't see something new they don't um, they are not differ from each other so I just do my thing and I'm trying to um, I'm trying to do what I like um, and my favorite nail designs sometimes exp I do in experiments but I think that uh, when you are doing nails it's it, it shouldn't be something hard something um, annoying um, uh, something makes you sad the work should uh, should uh, should make you happy and um, you should like your work as you can see guys I'm working with the uh, cone drill bit and it's easily to uh, it's easily removing all the dirt from under the nail and um, we should shape nails before and after applying the sculpting mix gel only this way your nails will look fantastic I think that uh, her nail plate um, is good enough, but not the ideal, and we should work with uh, the file. It's not easy to apply the gel um, as ideal. Um, it's not easy to, to apply it perfectly, so we, we should anyway shape it. Now you can see guys the natural diamond drill bit. Um, this drill bit differs from uh, drill bits that you can buy on AliExpress that it will never um, it will never hurt, hurt the skin uh, because those cheap drill bits made from steel but this one made from natural diamond uh, pieces small pieces of diamond uh, and um, it works perfectly and, and only these drill bits Russian nail technicians use for their, their, their works uh, that's their secret so you can see the hardware manicure uh, videos when you buy drill bits from uh, 
not not expensive drill bits and when you're trying to work with them they just uh, they just uh, scratch scratch the skin and as you can see I'm using the um, using uh, strawberry drill bit and uh, this is the natural drill bit and it works with the skin perfectly um, not only with the hard skin but with the soft skin you can use it everywhere this drill bit is amazing and I uh, suggest you to buy this drill bit too for uh, not for only for manicure wor works but for the pedicure I think that uh, my nail designs are not not hard I, I I know that a lot of nail technicians face with the problem that gel polish or gel paint uh, gets under gets on the skin and it it makes you nervous I'm, I'm trying to step out from this um, this uh, way of doing of doing designs like that I'm trying to um, make something artistic something airy and in this video you will see uh, one more example of how we can apply nails easily without nervous things because uh, now we, you can see that we have applied perfect m perfect uh, base for our painting as you can see things around us I'm uh, making uh, the short from our balcony where we are applying nails so we are ready for amazing nail design I mix I mix into colors uh, red um, red and white and I'm applying amazing airy strokes I think that these uh, flowers will be romantic and um, dreaming I'm loving these colors I'm loving mixing them together and I think that you should try try it you know this technique made um, a lot of made from for me a lot so uh, uh, one day I had a lot of problems but when I'm trying to draw something using this technique it um, it uh, makes it makes me be relaxed and forget about all bad things because this is the real art you can make something something amazing and your clients will enjoy it too I can suggest you guys to buy uh, the course of one stroke nail technique technique for the beginner um, uh, this is the online video DVD uh, with the online, online access with all steps and all details uh, I will teach you how to how to easily draw these flowers and that's the great that's that's great that, that you have a chance to to try it by yourself and of course you can order this brush and this acrylic paints uh, that costs only seven euro um, in my online store of course um, i suggest to uh, these products um, as before you can contact me on my email and make the list of products that you need and of course i, I continue uh, selling products in United States dollars um, but now we have a choice um, to buy them using the website or contacting me uh, on my email so as you can see guys I'm mixing together uh, yellow color green color and on and white color and we have fantastic result of green leaves so this this is very amazing and natural look I like faded faded nail designs faded colors and as you can see I uh, mixed these colors on the pretty previous track 
uh, were a mixed red and white color and this green is really fantastic so these lines are airy we don't need to put uh, gel polish under cuticles and uh, that's great that we, we can be relaxed and draw uh, airy amazing flowers i think this is the the perfect uh, the best things in our work that we, we can create something we w that we can do it not as robots um, monotone works day by day but we can um, create amazing things like that and i hope guys you understand me my position uh, that i'm an artistic and artistic person and i like something something new something amazing and what else now you see me uh, covering nails with the top coat and it's liquid because it's hot temperature now it's not comfortable to work with it when it's hot but we're trying we're trying to make it perfectly step by step you should apply the top coat on each nail and don't forget to cover nails from corners of the nail from the from corners because uh, the acrylic paint can be lifted if you don't uh, don't uh, cover them from each side so it's the the main thing let's watch the result i think these nails are fantastic amazing i hope you like this design and you can see that nails uh, the petals of flowers are airy and uh, they look like natural the gradient is uh, this is natural too and uh, i think that this nail design uh, she will ne never try of these nails and i hope guys also that you will love love your work you will like all techniques you will create something new because um 10 years that i do nails had a lot of uh, pressure from this work see you in the next video visit my website shapeofnail.com i'm in love with the shape of nail <laughs> Bye-bye.